Good day. I am Bill Rochelle, Editor-at-Large of American Bankruptcy Institute. This week, I'm going to talk about not a decision that has been made, but one I expect we're going to have about a year to two years from now from the Third Circuit on the very important topic of triangular set-offs. Now, what in the Sam Hill is a triangular set-off? Well, assume this situation. You have a creditor that is owed money by a debtor, but at the same time, a subsidiary of that creditor owes money to the debtor. Now, under traditional theories, there is no mutuality under Section 553 of the Bankruptcy Code, and as a result, that kind of an ordinary triangular set-off is pretty much not permissible anywhere. The case, however, in Delaware, called Origigen, involved a contractual right of set-off. So, in other words, it was a little bit different. The contract between the creditor and the debtor provided that there could be, by virtue of the contract, a triangular set-off uh, involving the debtor, the creditor, and any of the creditor's subsidiaries. However, bankruptcy Judge Gross, in his opinion, in November, held that no, nope, even a contractual set-off is not permissible under Section 553 of the Bankruptcy Code because, again, there is no mutuality. I am pretty sure that this case is going to go up because the creditor is raising a rather interesting issue involving the Supreme Court decision in Butner. That was a case, as you know, where the Supreme Court held that contract, or property rights, I should say, are created and established and governed by state law, not by the bankruptcy code. The creditor in this particular case, in essence, is out $6 million, so there is plenty of money to justify an appeal. And indeed, I think there is going to be an appeal because the creditor acknowledged in its briefs that the uh, authority was all against it. But nonetheless, the creditor said it thought those cases were wrongly decided in view of Supreme Court authority, so that's why I'm pretty sure we're going to have an appeal. And frankly, it seems to me this is a good case to have a direct appeal <coughs> excuse me, to the Third Circuit because we have a pure issue of law. In any event, uh, uh, hang loose, uh, pay attention, and you know, anywhere from nine months to two years from now, we may have a decision to report to you from the Third Circuit, and if the Third Circuit speaks, that's the first time we will have had a circuit court opinion on an issue as important as this. Of course, think of what will happen if the Third Circuit says that contractual triangular set-offs are permissible. Then that means that everybody and their Aunt Martha are going to write contracts that would then uh, uphold, be upheld in bankruptcy court for a triangular set-off. Well, until this time next week, this is Bill Rochelle hang, uh, signing off. And in the meantime, have a very nice Thanksgiving, and I'll see you again same time next week.